Lord, I carry a Bible, the thumb index kind. It looks good in my hand, so I really don't mind. When I say that I carry, I mean to the church. When I say to the church, I mean for what it's worth. It is with me each Easter. I'm faithful, you know. I'm in church on that Sunday, my Bible in tow. It has leather, gold edging, and all of that bling. It's my Easter companion like Christmas and Bing. It looked just like it came from right out of the box, which is probably because I don't read it a lot. But don't worry, dear Lord, I do not blame myself because a negative thought would be bad for my health. So it must be the Bible that needs fixing up. That's why I made this list, then I added more stuff. See, your book is too big. I mean, what's up with that? If the Bible were human, we'd say it was fat. You should keep the best stories, the Red Sea, the Ark. But all 66 books, that's two thirds of the mark. Yes, the mark of the beast. I just can't get enough of that rapture disaster sensational stuff. I've learned all about prophecy and the end times, not from scripture, but watching the three left behinds. So yes, I know my Bible, the books and the names from Gemini to Revelation of James. See, most Sundays I go to the church at Bed Springs, then watch service online, just the part where they sing. But the church down the street, the one growing so fast, Lord, they told me you'd give me whatever I asked. And that sounds good to me, like the right thing to do. I mean, if I were God, I'd give cool stuff to you. Are you made in my image? I read that somewhere. With abundance of chin and shortage of hair. Yet I make request A and you give answer C. Do you know how frustrating such praying can be? I heard you can do anything since you are God. So your Bible should read like a Sears catalog. Okay, that's an old reference, but you catch my drift. Don't respond to my orders with wait, no, or if. Since I claim every promise in scripture as well, you should take out the ones about vengeance and hell. Negativity isn't conducive to growth. I need Jesus, not judgment. You cannot have both. Turn commands to suggestions like should not and should, because a thou shalt not tone doesn't make me feel good. Or make all commands questions, that's what I do next. My opinion should count just as much as the text. And the app on my phone filled with scripture, you know, I would recommend adding TikTok videos. Take out birth and death passages, they make me yawn. We'll assume they be gad and we know they be gone. And those biblical names, they need fixing as well. I mean, some of them have to be hurting yourselves. There's a woman named Gomer, a fellow named Ham. There's a Nebuchadnezzar and you're called I am. There's a Dorcas, a Dodo, an Ishbib and Ab. Why not Doris or Tebow or good old Jim Bob? There is even some guy named Ahithophel, please. Is that even a name? It sounds more like a sneeze. Here's a test sure to help you find names that'll fit. Lord, pronouncing them shouldn't cause people to spit. And there's way too much doctrine. That's not what folks want. I think scripture's a menu and you're the restaurant. So that makes me the customer, something I like. It confirms my conviction that I'm always right. What you wrote is real good, but the world's not the same. So we have to be flexible, open to change. And perhaps my advice is the place to begin. It could help make your book a bestseller again. But one final suggestion, God, I really think they should print Bibles using erasable ink. Then the problems I found could be fixed in real time. And the voice of your word would sound much more like mine. For the Bible I want, Lord, I say unto thee, is one written by you, but co-authored by me.